Welcome back to Budget Stuff Save Repeat. I'm Melissa, and today is Saving Challenge Day. I'm so excited. I love stuffing this um, photo album. I know a lot of you like to see this photo album filling up too. Um, so let's jump into this because I think we're going to finish maybe five or six of these. Um, and I'm going to be a little bit um, spontaneous this time. Can you believe it? And I have singles. So um, yeah, we're stepping out of our comfort zone a little bit here. I have $375. So let's just jump right into it. So we are going to complete our August challenge. This challenge was gifted to me by... Um, Zai over at Cash and Spanglish. She hasn't made any um, videos lately. I know she re moved recently, um, well, this year. And so, but I do, I appreciate her thinking of me last year and she sent me an email with all of the moms. So I'm going to keep moving until we complete them all. So we are doing $20, $2 an icon in our August um, challenge. Alrighty, so that is our first completed challenge. Um, I hope you guys are all enjoying your summer. We have had a very busy one, but a fun one. We have done all the things um, summer related. Um, I might've given the wrong number on how many this was completed because I know we talked about finishing half of this book. Um, so this would have to be 56 because we only need four to get to 60 and then we would be done 60 challenges for the year. So we are done with our August challenge for $20 and we're going to add September in its place. So I know September, you think back to school. Um, some of the kids may be back in school about the time you see this, but um, we still have a few more weeks and we are squeezing, squeezing every ounce of fun out. So let me move this to the side. All right, so this is the spontaneous part of, the, of this um, video. So um, you might have remember a lot of budgeters were doing the, the 40 questions and we were telling some things about ourselves and I tagged Nija from Budgeting the Bacon. And one of the questions was, um, what's your favorite food? And she said French fries. And I was right there with her. And <laughs> and then she says, you know, when they're all nice and shoestring. And I said, what? Shoestring fries? I thought she was going to say hot or crispy. And then I put in the comments, are shoestring fries even fries? Like they don't even have potato in it. Um, so D from D's Digital World saw that comment and she agreed with me and we were teasing Nija a little bit. I think she unfollowed us for a little bit there, but um, we're back we're back cozy. But D, I said, um, this would make a great savings challenge. She whipped this up in like five minutes, it felt like, because I got an email saying like, here's the French fry challenge, um, crinkle fries versus shoestring fries. And so I decided, let me print them both out and I will let fate decide which one is the best. So because I'm team crinkle, every crinkle fry is worth $5 shoestring fries are only worth one dollar i have six dice here i'm going to roll all six and um whichever tracker fills up the first of uh, fills up first is the winner so we're going to see um which fries are the best um crinkle is going to get even and shoestrings are going to get odd because I thought it was pretty odd that she liked shoestring fries. So let's go and see which fries are the best. So that's an even, 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 and three odd. So right now we're pretty even. I'm just going to put some um, stickers on these so I know I can um, visually see which ones are filling up the fastest. I didn't want to exit out, um, but yeah. So I'm like, I I was definitely surprised that she said 
that she says shoestring. I've never heard anybody say that they actually like shoestring fries. And if I'm at a restaurant and I order fries and they bring out shoestring fries, it, it ruins my whole meal. All right, so I see three evens, four and two. Uh-oh, we got a slight advantage going on here. So one, two, three, and four. All right, and then two over here for these non-potato fries. Okay, we got three, e four evens and two, <laughs> and two odds. One, two, three, and four. So we only need one more um, for that one to be filled up, but you never know. Shoestring fries could could get five this round and be the winner so let's see oh no 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 okay so shoestring fries um is not the predominant fry <laughs> of choice the fates have decided but i will go ahead and put three more stickers on here and whatever and and i will add this up and that's how much i will stuff in this envelope so because the crinkle fries won i know that that's sixty dollars and then we have one uh so it's one two three three six nine ten so then we add another ten dollars so we save seventy dollars with this challenge and i'm gonna mark this only as one challenge a set of two i don't know that i want shoestring to get its own or should I? Should I not be like that and let shoestring get gets it? Oh, okay, I will. But oh no. But we did win the challenge. Crinkle fries are the best. The dice show it. But I just thought that was funny. It was a fun day. I thank you, Nyjah, for participating and um, telling us what your favorite food is, <laughs> and D for making that challenge. Um, but we're going to go ahead and replace that challenge with um, always be kind, don't be a prick. And this is by Authentic Allison. So, yeah. But that was a really fun, a fun challenge to do. Okay. So, we're going to move on to Cash's Queen. And this is a, this is from my girl Tiffany at Cash Locks and um, Life. She was, I watch her channel all the time and she was talking about, I'm putting $45 in here. She was talking about other people, you know, like promote themselves. And um, I was in her description box and saw that she had a channel and I'm like, promote yourself because I definitely would support you. So cash is queen and it's $5 an icon. So um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, or maybe. Okay, so if you have not checked out Tiffany's channel, please go over and check her out. I will have her information lifted, listed in my description box. And when we do this challenge, the next time we'll just finish the word queen. We will be doing, we will be completing this challenge, Faith Can Move Mountains, and we're going to be putting $42 in here. I definitely like these number challenges or letter challenges, um, especially when they have a great meaning behind them. And this one was by Lindsay at Little Helpful Fi Files. So that is another completed challenge. So this would be number, number 60. And so, since it's number 50, we'll use the word faith. All right. So, um, let's see what we're going to replace that with. Oh, we're going to replace that with one that Jenny sent me. Um, this was the happy, the happy email that I received from Simply Living Saves. So, we'll start that one maybe next time. And this says fun. And we will finish this next one 
that is nice because this was one of the bigger challenges this was a hundred and sixty seven dollars and we need to put fifty no i need to put ninety six dollars in here so fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety five ninety six okay and we're going to finish this one off And yes, I did use the wrong pink. And the anal Melissa would love to reprint this and recolor, but it really is not that important. And I'm trying to control my urges more and more to be um, more laid back, I guess. So let's make sure we have the right amount of money in here. All right, so. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, um, 17, right? That's, I'm already missing some money because it should be 176. Oh, well, let me just count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nope, it's not. One. So 17 would be 170 and 6 ones would be 176. Um, and I have talked about having, I really have... Um, six nieces yeah six of them but um initially saving for my nieces was because we had so many graduations coming up back to back to back but none of this money is really designated to what the face value of the challenge says this whole book is basically you would say sinking funds i call them purpose funds so all of my purpose funds next year um, will be funded with these savings funds and I will just at the end of the year count that up and um, allocate it accordingly. So the next one is another one from Jenny in my, um, in my special happy email and this is a self-care is empowerment. We'll start that one next. We're going to finish up this one from Barbara Lynn Budgets. Um, her daughter made these and she sent them to us so we need five or five fifty dollars to complete this so this would be 125 and this would complete the beach day challenge so we finished another one and we have a hundred and fifty dollars or 125 dollars to put inside the photo album so I am going to have to fold this one because I don't think it will fit. Yeah, will it? No, so I do have to fold it, but I do want the beach day part to show, like the beach, the name of the challenge to show. All right, and we'll put that in there and then we, yeah, perfect. So thank you, Barb. Tell your daughter I said thank you again. I love that challenge and we are definitely a beach, um, a beach day family so I'm going to replace that one with this um, back to school challenge from Jerry at um, one frugal introvert I am such a nerd that I just love that it's the periodic table um, <laughs> so I, I love this challenge as soon as I saw it um, so yeah I'll be starting that next time and then we'll finish up this with a birthday challenge from um, Mercedes and her channel um, her um, shop is the Butterfly Digital Co. So I have $52 left because um, the, what is it? The Fry Channel um, Challenge didn't take the last $2. I didn't know what that was going to be. So let's see um, $52 if we can total this up to 50. Alrighty, so we figured out $52. So we'll go ahead and put $52 in for this challenge and we'll only have $48 left. Um, and just to recap a little bit, um, I started this at the beginning of the year, auto books. I wasn't doing it for money, just so that I could read more. And um, I am still on track. Um, I had purchased the auto books for a year and I had a single book that I was reading 
not through auto books so that would be 13 books it was 13 book icons on here and i have completed up to eight so um, i'm i'm happy that i'm still going with this and then liz and less that was from liz and less and this is also from liz and less for august she was doing let go or O. Oh. I wasn't doing it for money, but I am definitely a strong believer in purging and getting rid of things that I'm not using, give them away, sell them. Um, just, you know, clear up the space, clear up your mind type of thing. So um, hopefully, you know, you guys are all still doing very well with your savings challenges. I know that um, a couple of the ladies are doing no sinking funds for August. Um, Tiffany, Fiona, um, Chris from Budgeting Just Because, Fiona is Fagality is Life, and Tiffany is Cash Locks and Cash Locks and Life. They're doing no um sinking funds for the month of August, which I think is great. You know, they're just going to focus on their savings challenges for this month and then be able to add a lump sum to their sinking funds. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So um I don't have to do a no sinking funds for August because I'm doing it for the whole year, but let's see what we completed. We did two, four, six. We did complete six challenges. Um, we did complete 60. So we're up to 62 challenges done for the year. Um, I am extremely um, excited about my progress. I thank you guys all so much for watching and for being here and i will see you guys in the next one bye